Neoregelia, or Neo for short, are probably the most popular and most sought after bromeliads uh, due to their nice intense foliage with colors and spots. Uh, some of the more popular ones are the variegated varieties like these here. These are Carolina X Concentrica hybrids. This one as well. And some of them do take quite a bit of sun, like Neo Bossa Nova and Neo Sheba, and also Neo Martin, which we have here. And with about 3,500 registered hybrids of Neo Regelia, and obviously a few hundred different species found in habitat. Uh, there's many, many different uh, sizes and shapes and colors to collect and to grow in your container garden or out in your landscape. Uh, you can attach them to logs, grow them on trees. They're very versatile plants, have year-round color, and uh, are very low maintenance in most cases, Neoregelia. Unfortunately, neos don't get too much of a bloom, so they are known more for their leaf patterns. Uh, this is a neo caviar, and it just finished blooming about a month ago, and you can see it just has a couple of spent flowers left there, and that's actually where seed is produced if it gets pollinated correctly. Um, so they are known more for their uh, leaf color and foliage than they are for their bloom. Some Neoregelia look and act more like Acmeas or Hoembergias in that they get larger and can tolerate a little bit more sun. This is Neo Cruenta Explosion, one of our cultivars that we grow here. Uh, and you can see that it's getting a little bit of sunburn in the middle, but nothing that's going to damage it. And these uh, form nice landscape plants out in the landscape just because of their dark burgundy color and uh, their ability to tolerate frost and sun.